I did it again. Yes, I did it again. I went and bought a second Hourglass Holiday 2023 face palette. This is the Leopard Palette. It's not a first impression. I did use this yesterday and the day before because I planned on doing this video yesterday and the day before. But when you have a raging two and a half year old toddler, things get a little cray cray around here. So anyway, <laughs> but I am going to be, get, be doing swatches. And for those of you who are new, hi, I'm Kayla. I'm a working makeup artist. I love makeup. Makeup means everything to me. I love skincare too. I devour it all. Devour it all. Literally. So we reviewed the Jellyfish palette in my latest video. Now we're going to be reviewing this beautiful leopard palette. This, I have to say, I love this packaging. I loved how the two leopards are like all cute facing each other. Like I just think it's absolutely adorable. Beautiful artwork. And let's give you guys a view of the inside for those of you who have not seen it or if you're thinking about picking up this palette perfect opportunity to just take a quick look at it beautiful so this palette although it's beautiful I think all three are equally beautiful and unique in their own way this one only has one new shade which is I am I am half colorblind I have mentioned it in a few of my recent videos so all I ask is for just a little extra patience if I'm trying to describe a shade to you. Certain shades seem, not in this palette, just in general. Certain colors look off to me when they're really not in reality. So the only new shade in here is, let me, let me just read the back really quickly. All right. So the shades that are not new is this blush right here, which is Mood ex uh, Mood Exposure. I'm going to bring it a little closer for you guys to get a better look at it. I'm going to swatch it on my hand, too. This shade, I tried to wear it yesterday, and for some weird reason, although it swatches, I mean, it, it is a very light shade. Maybe that's why it's very fair of a shade. I'm going to try to go back in again and see if I can give you guys a better swatch. So it's like a, a, a dusty plum rosy kind of an undertone. I think it's a, a beautiful shade, but for some reason on my skin tone, it, although I don't have dark skin at all or I'm not deep or even tan, um, or at least not on my face, my arms are a little darker than my face, but anyway, um, it just didn't show up. And I went in like three or four times with my favorite blush brush and still it did not, it barely even showed up. And once I put the finishing powder over everything, it was barely even visible to even me, myself, the one who applied it in the first place, but still a pretty shade. And now I'm going to swatch the bronzer, which is called, it says it on the back, Lustrous Bronze Light. I'm going to swatch that for you next. Clean off my finger a little bit. Okay. This bronzer is absolutely beautiful. I think it's beautiful. It's got a like a beautiful sandy golden undertone to it. I think that's a beautiful. Um, I'd say it's neutral to warm. That That's just my personal opinion on the shade itself. I love it. I wore it two days in a row. I absolutely love the shade. And it does have a little bit, if you, I mean, the cat, my cat, my phone camera is not going to pick it up very well. But it does have, I don't know if you can get a, a glimpse of it. It does have a little bit of sparkles in it, but not enough to where it's overpowering the shade itself. Um, but yeah, that's the bronzer and the new shade in here. I'm trying to get it back. Give me one second. Sorry guys, it's just me being half colorblind. Ethereal Flush, which is number five. So we got one, two, three, four, five. This is the new blush, Ethereal Flush. That rhymes. Okay, this is the one that I want to wear today. Oh yes, definitely. Look how beautiful that is. That is a beautiful blush right there. That one I'm going to apply today. And then the other blush we have here is called Iridescent Rose. 
This is a beautiful one too. Very, very beautiful color. This is like one of those um, swirly, shimmery colors. They're trying to get, it. that's like the perfect angle to, to view all, almost all six of these swatches. This one I think has more of an, a rosy undertone where this one is slightly cooler, but still rosy, but just the undertones are different. This one, even though it's one of those swirly metallic-y blushes, um, it still is slightly more of that dusty, cooler undertone. And I'm just gonna go over this one one more time. And then we have to swatch Dim Light. I think it's called Dim Light. Yep, Dim Light is a finishing powder. But this one's actually really beautiful. I think it's beautiful. It's a little on the light side, but I'm, I'm, go I'm gonna go in again and see if I can You guys can kind of see it right here. It's a beautiful shade for light to light medium skin tones. So that's dim light that it's in obviously an already existing shade in the hourglass line. And then last but not least, we have the beautiful straw powder, the highlighter. If it's easier to remember it by calling it a highlighter, which is called Celestial Strobe Light. I'm going to use my pinky to swatch this one. I love the feel. Hourglass powders, they're just like nothing else in the world. Like, to me, they're not. Oh, wow. That swatched really pretty. Look at that. Just take a second and take that in. Isn't that beautiful? I think it's gorgeous. So that is a, what I believe of course, it's a light golden champ. I would say between a champagne and a champagne to gold shade. That's that's how I'm describing it. But then again, I'm also have color blend. So what I'm going to do now that we've now that we've swatched every shade in this palette, I'm going to grab one of my favorite bronzer brushes, which is the A58 bronzing brush by. Morphe collab with Makeup by Ario. I love this brush and it's nice and small so it can fit perfect in these little pans. Have my brush off. And yes, I do make the fishy face when I do my bronzer. I love that it gives that, like when I make the fishy face, it's just like a little hack that I absolutely love. And when you apply your bronzer, especially with a, a brush that's dense and a, a little, um, the bristles are well packed. And if you look, it's not as wide as it looks. It's actually kind of, I wouldn't say fluffy, but it's, it's on the flatter side, which kind of allows you to have that option to make it look like it's that clean cut what's the word i'm looking for oh my goodness i have powder on my nose how'd that get there um contoured there we go these like a sculptured contoured look to it effect to it rather and we're gonna do the other side together
need a little bit more on this side. That's beautiful. Love how that looks. That looks really pretty. Okay, let me just smooth this out just a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna clean up this brush a little bit. Okay, we're gonna grab my one of my favorite blush brushes, which is also from the same collection, the Morphe collab with Makeup by Aria, which is Kylie Jenner's makeup artist, which is even more inspiring to me. And if you guys know me, you guys already know I love Kylie, and I don't care what anybody thinks about that one. Um, I'm gonna go in with this beautiful new blush right here, which again is called Ethereal Flush. Ooh. Grab a little bit more. I just want to build this up a little bit. Ooh, that's beautiful. Totally random, but I love how my eyes came out today. The only thing that I don't like is that, you know when you, with that annoying thing when you're applying mascara and you get a little bit on the lid, on your eyelid, and it, you're just like, I just worked so hard to get this look, and now look what happened. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what happened to me today. A little bit more. I do like a little bit more blush than your, the average person. However, I do blend it out enough to where it doesn't look overpowering. That's beautiful. That's so pretty. Next side. Get some more on that brush. And then we're going to do the highlighter together and the finishing powder. The only con ever with Hourglass is that with certain blushes, I feel as a makeup artist, you have to go in um, quite a few times just to build it up, which can be a little annoying, but it's totally worth it in the end. It pays off. I will definitely say that. Depending on the shade, of course. That's perfect. Let me just make sure the other side and this side have the equal amount of blush. Actually, this the left side needs a little bit more to match the other side. And tomorrow, if I have time in the morning before work, I'm going to try to do my review on the snake palette that I do have. And I got it in the owl packaging. It's super, super beautiful. I just love it. I just got to fix this like a little hair sticking out the side of the brush. There we go. And on this side too. Okay, now I'm going to grab my little... It's technically a precision powder brush, but I use it as like a highlighting brush because it's just so perfect and the shape is like, and the way the bristles are packed also really helps. This is also from the Makeup by Aria collab with Morphe collection the, from the face set, brush number A14. We're going to go in with the Stroh powder, which I will tell you the name one more time. It is called, 
Celestial Strobe Light. I thought it was that, but I wanted to just be, just double check. This pack's a little bit of a punch, I have to say. As my wallet and my debit card and my credit card are in the ICU crying for help, because now I'm in, well, I'm not really in debt, but I'm in hourglass debt. And for those of you who love hourglass as much as I do, you guys know what that's like when you drop over $300 in one shot just to get all three pallets because you know that they're, they're not going to be in stock for very long because these pallets go like freaking coffee. <laughs> it's true. It's definitely true. This is a beautiful highlighter and it just complements and just amplifies the other shades and just brings everything together. And then the finishing powder, of course, as all of my fellow Hourglass friends slash fans know, that just like puts the cherry on top of the look completely. That's super pretty. I'm just going to do the bridge of my nose real quick. Give you guys a close up. Side view. Now we're going to do the finishing powder together, real quick. Let me just grab my powder brush. It, my One of my powder brushes, they're a little bit large. This is also, again, on the same collab with Morphe and Makeup by Aria, we're going to go in with into Dim Light to finish off this beautiful look. That's gorgeous. I love it. And then in the very near future, um, I want to do a, a complete look like a get ready with me doing a full look, eyes included, with one of these palettes, if not Maybe I'll just combine them all and we'll create a beautiful, unique look out of it. That I think would be great. And I did not pick out a lipstick or a lip gloss yet to go with this look because I don't know which one I want to wear yet. But this is the full face look. And I absolutely love it. And I love it even more because I did it with you guys and I wouldn't want to do it with anybody else. Like, never. Nope. I love you guys. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with somebody if you would like to. If you're new, I hope you consider will consider subscribing and stick around. I would love to have you stick around and I thank you guys for stopping by and spending some time with me today. I love you all so so much and I'll see you tomorrow if not the next day for the, my next video which is going to be a, the review on the snake palette but in the owl packaging. I know it's a little confusing but I love you guys so much and I will see you in a day or two. Bye guys.